Hello, and welcome to this lesson on how to allow a program through SuperShield. Sometimes you will have a program that is not allowed to run due to SuperShield blocking it. And this can be due to it not being classified by PCmatic or it has been classified as not a program that you should be running on your computer. If you are not sure, you can always submit a help desk ticket via pcmatic.com forward slash support. I will also include the link in the things to remember section. If you are sure the program is safe and you want to allow the program to run, you can do so by following this process. If SuperShield is not visible in your taskbar, we can make it visible by right clicking the taskbar, selecting taskbar settings, and then scroll down to we see notification area and click select which icons appear on the taskbar. Find PCmatic Super Shield, then click the toggle button to turn it on and then close the window. If you click the EXE or the program that you want to run, and you see this message, SuperShield is stopping the program from opening. Sometimes we might not see this message. The first step in the troubleshooting process is to see if the program runs without SuperShield being on. We do that by right-clicking the SuperShield icon choosing protection level, and then pause for 10 minutes. And then try to run the program again. So the program was allowed to open. Now we know that SuperShield is the problem. When SuperShield is off, you will see a yellow icon. So now that we know SuperShield is what's blocking the program, we want to right click the shield, choose protection level, and then click SuperShield protection to turn it back on. We know SuperShield is back on because we have a green shield. Since this worked, we know the following question would need to be added to PCmatic's whitelist. The method I'm going to show you will whitelist the file locally for your PCmatic account only. This is what we call running SuperShield in advanced mode. Advanced mode is only recommended for the brief period of time to whitelist an item. Then once that item is whitelisted, you should return the block notification method to display only. To whitelist an item, all we need to do is right click the shield icon, go to protection level, block notification method, and select prompt for override. Once this option is selected, when we try to run the file again, SuperShield will ask if we want to allow the file or block it. If you are sure the file is good, then we can click allow or always allow. Allow will make an exception this time the program is run, but will block it the next time. And always allow will add it to your local whitelist. Then you would click yes on the prompt to allow the program to run. Click always allow again. And now the program is allowed to run. And that concludes our discussion for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video when we go over how to add a device. Thank <laughs> you.